Hey there, this is Sherry James, creator of The Bible Hangout, and I'm so glad that you are here. We are doing something that I call the best of The Bible Hangout. This is where we revisit a series that we've done in the past, I think still has power and relevance for today. Now, this is a premiere, and if you're here for the premiere, I want to just honor you and reward you for being here, and I have a gift for you. Make sure that you watch all the way to the end so that you can get the details on how to claim your gift. All right, let's get going. So this series, Empower the Giant Within, there are nine steps to empower the giant within yourself. And this month, we are focused entirely on step number one. And so the I, last week, I gave you the first thing that you need to know in order to recognize your divine nature, which is that you need to know the difference between the impersonal you and the personal you. The impersonal you and the personal you. The second thing that you need to know in order to empower the giant within, in order to recognize your divine nature, is that you need to realize that you cannot make a mistake. You cannot make a mistake. So what do I mean by that? Here's what I mean. Sometimes we get hung up on how a situation resolves in our lives, right? So maybe we left a job, like we left a job on bad terms and we cussed everybody out on the way out the door, <laughs> okay? Well, the truth of the matter is that the season for that job was complete, right? That's the impersonal side. The season for that job was complete, but depending on how we understand the nudge of spirit to leave a circumstance will determine whether we leave in a way that honors the divinity of other people or whether we leave in a way that brings everybody down, right? So sometimes we leave relationships and we think, God, that person really did me wrong and I was fortunate to get away from them. But is that really what happened? Maybe what happened is that you outgrew the person. You outgrew the abuse or you outgrew the circumstance and it was time to go. And you left at the level that your consciousness would allow. You left at the level that your frame of mind would allow. So maybe your frame of mind could only allow an affair that would destroy the relationship. And that's how you got yourself out of the relationship. Mm. All right, somebody picking this up. I know it, I know it. The point is, is that no matter how you got out of the relationship, getting out was not a mistake right? You cannot make a mistake. The personal side of us is the side of us that makes choices that, are, that don't live up to our divine nature. But that's different from making a mistake. The impersonal side of you never makes a mistake. And when we begin to live on and operate from and identify with the impersonal side of life, that when we get the nudge that a season has concluded in our lives, whether the season is leaving a job or whether the season is leaving a relationship, but when we get the nudge from spirit that a chapter is closed, we honor what we hear and we begin to wrap it up in the most ethical and forthright way because we know that this chapter is complete and it's time to move on to the next chapter. The impersonal side of you knows this. The personal side of you clings. The impersonal side freely lets go because it recognizes that my good is not tied to some relationship. My good is not tied to some job. My good is everywhere evenly present. When we begin to identify with the impersonal side of life, we become fearless. 
We don't cling to jobs. We don't cling to people. We don't cling to conditions. We don't cling to anything but God. That's where we want to be. And so we find that we can afford to be fearless when we identify with the impersonal side of life. And so here's my call to action to you for this week. What do you need to be fearless about? Is there a place where the impersonal side of you has been nudging you and telling you this chapter is done? Close the book, leave the relationship, dismiss the job. Is there an area of your life where the impersonal side of you has been trying to nudge you to the next level of your experience, but you have been clinging, grasping, holding on? What can you do this week to begin to walk in fearlessness? Thank you so much for being here. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you for being a part of this premiere. If you are here for the premiere, uh, on the next screen, you're gonna get the information that you need in order to claim your gift. And I invite you to join me here next week where I'm gonna give you the third thing that you need to know in order to recognize your divine nature. Take care.